since 2004, there have been about 4 million pines killed by mountain pine beetles in this area. It's about 300,000 acres. Here, you might say we're in the middle of the outbreak. We have quite a lot of trees killed that we can see around here, but quite a few that are still of a, of a good size that mountain pine beetles could attack and kill them. We will probably, uh, at the end of this outbreak, see 80, 80 to 90% of the trees in this size class killed. This is completely typical behavior for mountain pine beetles. Just a mile or two up the road, we move above the elevation where lodgepole pine is dominant and into an elevation where whitebark pine is dominant. We have some hundreds of thousands of whitebark pines up in this sawtooth ridge area that are now infested or, or dead. And what, what's changed over that period? What has changed is we have gotten a little bit longer season in which the mountain pine beetle can complete its life cycle. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do is see if there are any, any life stages of beetle in here. I can't chop very well with my left hand, unfortunately. Aha! Aha! All right. Let me see if it's what I think it is before I get too excited. Uh, I think we have an adult beetle here. Ha ha. Um, now, if we were at a lodge, in a lodgepole pine at a lower elevation, we would see the tree full, full of either larvae or larvae and adults. They're kind of stout little beetles. They have rounded butts. Um, their heads are kind of tucked down into their thorax. When a mountain pine beetle outbreak ends is uh, when all of the susceptible trees have been killed. That's, that's usually what brings an outbreak like this to an end. And, and there, are still, there are still susceptible trees to be eaten on.